guys, this is Powerhouse Exotics, back at it again with part two of my Bioactive Terrarium build. Um, since the last video, I've had times to uh, make corrections. I fixed the background quite a bit. Um, still got some little gaps missing. Uh, turns out I used the wrong kind of Gorilla Glue. It's still safe. It's just I used the clear kind, which, um, yeah, it doesn't stick as well as the regular kind. The regular kind makes it look way better. Um, and I also got me some plants. Right here I have a, I believe it's called a mother fern. I don't know the scientific name. Do I don't care to learn about scientific name, but plants. Um, I just care about the scientific name of my animals. Um... And golden pothos, um, easiest plant to keep alive. I was trying to find some wandering Jew, but I couldn't find any of that. Um, all these plants have been cleaned off quite well. Um, and yeah, without further ado, um, I'll see you in part two of me placing them in the terrarium. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Guys, okay, so I finally got it to where it looks nice and uh, presentable. This is the fern in the background. Um, I'm kind of hoping the pothos will take over a little bit more and kind of cover up the fern because they are a low light plant, but... I'll probably be putting the light on this side of the tank, just so this side can get a little bit less light. And the fern's kind of covered up by some of the pothos and some of the tree wood. And, uh, yeah, I got some reindeer moss I added as well, just for a little extra thing. Oh, um, by the way, I'm getting uh, dwarf white isopods. Um, I'll be ordering those. They'll be here in a few days. Um, I'll probably video me getting those and adding those to the tank. But, yeah, that's how you do a bioactive tank build. Um, stay tuned to see more. My next tank build will be on my... Um, 18 by 18 by 24 Exoterra. It's basically just a, a step up from this size Exoterra. Um, houses my green and old, who's quite old. So before long, after he unfortunately passes, which will not be longer, he's quite a few years old and they don't live too long. I'll be getting a new pet reptile and uh, or amphibian, whatever I decide to get. But uh, for now, um, we'll be redoing Compy's tank so he can live out the rest of his days in luxury. Um, without further ado, I will film me putting this inside where it belongs. Right, so one last thing I forgot to mention was you'll need activated carbon. Um, should have put that in there with the plant. Make sure I just kind of sprinkle it over top. This is going to help filter out the stuff and it's beneficial for the plants. So just sprinkle a little bit. You can get this at Walmart. It's made for fish tank filters. You can also buy specific carbon for terrariums. And uh, I know some companies make just, or some people use charcoal for activated carbon. I'm just going to sprinkle it around there. It doesn't have to go in the dirt. And it's also good for springtails and isopods. Okay. Now we're going to be putting Damien in the tank, and uh, I don't have any gloves, so I'm going to be using a bag. Um, you don't want to touch amphibians because any kind of toxins on your hands can be dangerous for them. So yeah, um, come closer, please. All right, so come get a little shot inside the tank so I can get a picture of Damien. Oh, inside the big tank. Go, you got to walk around. <laughs> but yeah, hope he does not get mad. Damien, <laughs> come here, Damien. Okay, he's kind of mad. Come here, Damien. Give me a little. There you go. Got a little Damien. Yep. Set him back to his, to his new tank. You can go film Damien from the front now. There you go. He's going to enjoy his new little home. And, uh, yeah, um, the light right here I've been using, um, it's just a UVB bulb. Uh, it could be good enough for these beginner plants right here I've been using. And, uh, yeah. A little of the tank. There's Damien. He's a barking tree frog. The a close relative of the American green tree frog. But yeah. Very cool species if you want something a little bit more, I guess I'd say exotic. Um, these guys are the way to go. A little bit bigger. He's going to hop off and explore in any second now. See if we can See if we can catch him going anywhere. So yeah. Oh, yes. Kind of have like a bullfrog pattern on them. Um, forgot the scientific name. I think it's Hyla, it's Hyla Gratosa or something along those lines. I'll add a little correction clip right now. Okay, now that seen the little correction clip, I'm just going to end the video here, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to roll some, just uh, some B-roll of the Damien's new tank. Bye-bye. Uh,